We're coming here to see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me. You ever wonder why the mages... You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. So I'm not good enough for you. Fine. See if you get into the tower on your own. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. We cannot help, no matter which side of the civil war you represent. The Circle's fate hangs in the balance, and the Templars that serve it must remain. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. Abominations and demons stalk the Tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. My men did what they could, but it wasn't enough. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations, not the horde that fell upon us. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground, but I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Not just mages, but my Templars also. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The mages are probably already dead. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a, a word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Make her help. So the mages are all locked within. Allow me. I could do that for you.
right there. Take another step, and I swear I will strike you down where you stand. I am Wynn, Mage of the Circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly, I'll have no games. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. <laughs> if that were so, why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. And that is made abundantly clear. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing. Though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. I must say, you seem very familiar to me. Did I not see you at Ostagar? Ah, 
I saw you in the camp with Duncan and some other men. Grey Wardens. You are one of them, are you not? And you too are a Grey Warden, are you not, young sir? Yes, ma'am, you are correct. And please call me Alistair. I am pleased to meet you, Alistair. I am sorry for what happened to your comrades. It was terrible to behold. Loghain turned his back on the King and the Wardens. He is a strategist, and must have known the Darkspawn would overcome them. All those lives lost. And Aldred was there. If I find out he knew Loghain was planning this, I'll... Well, I... Oh yes, he will get what's coming to him eventually. If I have any say in the matter, we should get going. Unless you have something else to say. Onward, then. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. What do you need? Ask away. You never asked? No, no, calm down. I'm not trying to make you more upset. I... Uh, let me explain. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then, after the battle, when I should have told you... I don't know, it seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? I... I should have told you, anyway. It was important for you to know. I guess part of me liked you not knowing. It's just that anyone who's ever found out has treated me differently afterwards. I was the bastard prince, instead of just being Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. For all the good it does me, my blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. I guess I should be thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. If he's alright. I hope he's all right. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. 
It was a dumb thing to do. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. As you say, it shall be done. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. Of course, I am defenseless and if I ran into one, I would surely perish. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know, but he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. What do you wish of me? What do you need? I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought... Someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can
can I do? I'm trapped here. No! No, please! As you say.
This looks like the head enchanter's study, maybe. You think he's read all those? 